that moment when you enrolled into a biotech degree you transitioned from a local college to a global citizen you are no longer a local citizen of a particular city or a country you are a global citizen now why do i say that the reason is deep now in the 1960s there was a sharp demand of cosmetic surgeons and there are very less cosmetic surgeons who could do plastic surgery so suddenly uh, the fees of all these plastic surgeons or the cosmetic surgeons increased in us but uh, by 1980 a lot of people pursued a uh, degree in uh, cosmetic surgery and that led to a decline in the demand and now the cosmetic surgeons were hardly earning pennies so basically what happened then in us is happening all over india right now uh, in terms of the demand and supply for biotech graduates and post graduates but you have to know this that the major pharmaceutical and biotech hubs once you know all of that you'll realize that as a biotech degree holder you are a global citizen you should be looking for jobs opportunities not just in india but across the globe the demand is much 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 higher than what it is here in india now i'm not here to encourage you to go abroad i'm here to just tell you the top most pharmaceutical and biotech hubs and how can you prepare yourself to get there okay so let's start with the first one which i have and that is of course in usa the mecca of biotech industry is united states of america so the major hub there is boston and cambridge area it is called the biotech hub of the world highest concentration of biotech and pharmaceutical companies are in boston cambridge area now renowned academic institutions are also there which ones mit harvard so that means that you have a strong academy as well as strong industry over there so boston cambridge area in us and of course you have uh, massachusetts uh, general hospital which leads the medical discovery and medical research and advancements so there is a pioneering hospital also there you have three things uh, three renowned things in the boston area area so that's the number one hub of biotech and pharmaceutical in the world now this can change i'm talking about 2023 as of as we speak the next one again would be in usa itself and that is the san francisco bay area now it is the innovation epicenter a lot of biotech companies are there i cannot uh, you know count them on the fingers probably i can post this as an article later on so it's a innovation uh, epicenter a lot of cutting edge research and startups exist in this area a lot of venture capital uh, funding is also happening in this area because uh, the biotech startups uh, are no longer seen the way it is seen in india so there you have a lot of venture capital flowing in since it is near to the silicon valley the integration of technology with life science and that silicon valley influence is there like i was talking to a startup um, last month and they are trying to use ai to detect cancer and um, the founder is sri lankan but he is sitting in us and doing that so yeah so san francisco bay area it's a brilliant uh, and the second largest hub in the world for biotechnology the third one would be san diego now san diego has a very strong network of research institutions and these research institutions are driving innovation and at the same time they have a very strong and vibrant biotech community and there is i have seen that they, they have a very good collaborative ecosystem which in, again fosters the growth in the industry so on one hand you have research institutions on the other hand you have a very strong community over there and the third is of course attractive climate so there is a lot of people from india in san diego uh, usa who are into research and of course the climate attracts them so appealing location for attracting top talent san diego that's the third hub in the us or, or the world the fourth one is research triangle park in usa now research triangle park has got diverse companies home to significant number of pharmaceutical and biotech companies again academic powerhouse houses are there like uh, duke unc chapel hill and nc state foster innovation so all of this now combined with the technology transfer which is happening in between academia and industry makes the research triangle park one of the largest 
collaborative uh, research areas in the world for biotech. So this is the fourth one which I have for you and again it is in US. So you can see majority of the biotech uh, hubs are in US and that is why I said even though you pursue your degree locally, you are a global citizen. So you have to prepare for the globe, not for India. See, you are spending in rupees, you can earn in dollars, right? So the next one which I have for you is New Jersey, USA. Now, New Jersey hosts a lot of global headquarters of various pharmaceutical companies. And it is excellent research infrastructure, state-of-the-art research facilities and uh, scientific advancements are happening. And a lot of collaborative biopharma uh, innovation is happening in new treatment and ex existing therapies on rare diseases. So New Jersey is one more, uh, the fifth hub in the world for biotech. And that again is in USA. Next one which I have is now out of USA. And that is Switzerland. The land where life quality is amazing and excellent. No matter whomsoever I meet who has uh, worked in Switzerland, they all say that the work-life balance is amazing. So, uh, now Switzerland has got two areas where you have the major hubs. One is the Basel region, another is the Lucerne region. So, in Basel region, you have the gateway to innovation that is home, it is home to renowned companies like Novartis and Roche. Now, this these companies, of course, you know, they have, uh, they'll you know, present in more than 180 company, countries and the contribution of these companies in medical breakthroughs is huge and like uh, lakhs of people work in these companies in the Basin region. Now in the Lucent re region, a lot of cutting edge research startups are there and their strong focus is in collaboration. So they have a lot of academic collaboration and innovation happening side by side. Now in India, if you ask, of course, uh, you have Bangalore, but I'll come to that a little later. But so this is uh, Switzerland. So advancements in a lot of life sciences and medical technology which is happening. So medtech is something which is really um, growing in Switzerland in the Lucent region area. So that's uh, your next hub, hub. Now fast forward, next would be of course UK. Now UK is, uh, you have Cambridge, so it's a biosciences capital of UK, you can call it. It's a magnet of biotech and pharmaceutical research. Uh, University of Cambridge, I'm sure you've heard of, that's a world-renowned institution which drives scientific excellence in uh, biotech research and they have a very thriving startup culture a lot of biotech ventures are there which are pushing boundaries towards rare diseases towards existing third world country diseases and uh, a lot of grants are available in uk so yeah cambridge is the next destination which you can have after that you have the france germany switzerland bio valley this is actually a multi country collaboration. So France, Germany and Switzerland are collaborating. Collaborative research is happening. Interdisciplinary research is happening. And a uh, lot of networking opportunities are there. So if ever you get a chance to go to Europe, don't ever forget to visit the Bio Valley, which is a France, Germany, Switzerland uh, collaborative effort. And I believe it's one of the best out of US where you can get to and learn a lot of new things. So next, which we have will be surpassing India, China, Shanghai. Shanghai, you will see uh, a lot of cheap but rapid industrial growth. So China's biotech industry is like highly flexible and highly agile and they are doing some great strides in research. The only thing is it doesn't reach us because of the language problem, language barrier. But they are right now, literally right now leading in drug development. Shanghai is at the forefront of new drug discovery and development. So Shanghai in China is one. Uh, come, you know, place where you can get to. Now, it's a thriving biotech startup hub. It attracts a lot of talent from US also into China and a lot of Indians are also there. So, Shanghai in China is the hub where you can get to near to India. Next you have is Singapore. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you must have heard of the National University of Singapore where which has got a lot of biotech degrees and so yeah, that's always there. But now you have Biopolis. So, state-of-art research and development hub. Uh, you have Tuas Biomedical Park, which is a cluster of biotech companies and manufacturing facilities. And then because it is so easy to invest in Singapore, so global investments get attracted. And that is the reason more biotech companies are there in Singapore as a small country than Shanghai also. right? So Singapore is a great destination if you again want a good work life as well as work in, uh, want to work in the biotech and research um, biotech research and pharmaceutical research. So that's Singapore. Next, which I have for you is South San Francisco, USA. So again, uh, this can be 
are divided into two parts. One, one is the biotech beach, which is a hub of innovation. So it is home to renowned biotech and pharmaceutical companies and a lot of R&D is happening. Next will be the Genentech campus. Now this I'm separately telling you because Genentech is the industry leader in a lot of things. Okay, Cutting edge facilities, Genentech provides groundbreaking discoveries and in fact, main, it is the dream of almost every biotech uh, postgraduate to work there because once you have Genentech brand on your CV, you can get into any biotech company in the world. Remember this fact. Driving advancements in biotechnology is very difficult and Genentech has been doing this uh, in various interdisciplinary and precision medicine for the last several decades now. So Genentech is like a mecca a hub within US for uh, biotech. Next I have for you is the Maryland DC metro area USA. So you have NIH there. So NIH is the granting body. So close proximity fosters collaboration. So you have NIH there. Then you have um, a lot of innovation ecosystem over there. Budding biotech research clusters are there. And then you have hub of FDO operations also in the DC, Washington DC, Maryland area. So that's another hub where you will find more of academia and the bureaucratic research and regulatory bodies over there. So that's uh, one hub. But I don't think as a global citizen, you can get in there so easily. But if you become American citizen, you can get there. And now we have we are moving towards the North Carolina triad region. Now North Carolina again has uh, diverse biotech companies, research institutions, and very high profile influential uh, research institutions, and a lot of collaborative opportunities uh, it will present to you. So I would recommend getting in there also if in case you are not getting into the other areas. Definitely the DC area is not something which you can get to. But yeah, North Carolina triad region is one such region. Now coming to the last hotbed out of India, which will be Israel. Now, right now it's in news for because of the Israel, Palestine and Hamas conflict. But you should know this that Israel is one of the largest, one of the biggest hotspot of biotech cutting edge research. There are a lot of startups, a lot of incubators, a lot of innovation hubs and especially medtech. They are the pioneers. Okay. In fact, the Apple uh, watch also, these guys had done it much before, but later on, of course, hey, Apple took over and now it is the number one in medtech. You have a uh, lot of uh, medtech companies having hubs in Israel. So out of India, these are the hubs. Now coming to India, which are the hubs? In India, the number one hub you have right now is Hyderabad. And then somewhere on the same level, you can call this Bangalore. Now Bangalore and Hyderabad combined, you have more than 350 to 400 biotech startups. Okay. Next you have is Ahmedabad. Okay. You have a lot of pharmaceutical companies in Gujarat. Then next you have the Himachal Pradesh. There also you have a lot of biotech companies. And of course, Delhi also has a lot of biotech and bioinformatics startups. So these are the hubs in India. We at Biotechnica firmly believe that uh, once you've done a biotech degree, the whole world is your canvas. You should not limit yourself only to India. But yeah, many students prefer that I should get a job only in India. In that case, you can always apply for the quick scholarship that is um, available right now. It will be closing on 11th of December 2023. So before that, if you apply, you have a chance to get this scholarship. And that is where we also place you across uh, India as well as global companies as well. So these are the hubs and these were the uh, details I wanted to share about the various biotech companies. I didn't mention the specific biotech company. Otherwise, these uh, this video will become very long. Probably I'll write an article on this so that you have a complete picture. So for now, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments or anything you would like to know, Put them now down in the comment section. See you soon. Sayonara. Bye-bye.